What is going on everybody? Dennis the Menace here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, as you guys know, a lot of you know, uh, we've been having like major amounts of rain here in Florida lately. So the uh, the rivers and the creeks are kind of uh, non-diggable. But uh, what I have been doing is going over here to my buddy Ray's house. He's right back there working. And uh, he has this little rock wonderland here. But... I've been digging in this place called the junk pile and I've been working on this and this is just where he throws all of his excess pieces and uh, you know pieces that he cuts uh, you know the coral the agatized coral or you know whatever anything he just cuts over here and throws over here to the side but since I am a rookie some of these things are appealing to me so uh, even though he says it's not going to be once I start hunting the coral myself but uh, anyway, I wanted to check this out and uh, show you guys just what I'm doing today. So come here and uh, dig through this little pile with me. Uh, also, uh, a lot of you may not know, uh, if you go to my Facebook page, I've created a page where I'm actually selling uh, small pieces here that uh, he doesn't set up at his booth. And uh, the page on Facebook is called Florida Agatized Coral Connection. Uh, I'm going to be selling some really cool pieces on there. So, uh, but anyway... Uh, people have seen some of the little videos that I post here and there on uh, my Facebook page, Dennis D. Menace, uh, if you want to check that out. Uh, you know, from where I found some really cool stuff out here in the junk pile. Junk pile. But uh, check us out. Stay tuned right here and uh, see what we can get into. I'll show you a couple little cool things I found out here today so far. Uh, here, let me show you a better view of what I'm doing here. This is this pile here. This is stuff that I've already been through, and this is the stuff that I haven't gone through yet. I was just going through this stuff here and there, and I figured that I would just systematically go through it so I can see everything. So I just took everything from here and started piling it up over here, moving it, just slowly working my way through the pile. But uh, that's what I'm getting into. We got all little rocks. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. You know, I mean, you don't never know what you'll find in here. You even have pieces of... Uh, iridescent hematite from Georgia where you say that hematite's from? Graves Mountain? Well, iridescent? yeah, yeah. Grave, uh, Graves Mountain in Georgia just cool little pieces here let me see if I can these actually have like a rainbow color to them some of them I mean these probably won't because they're in the junk pile but uh they do look really cool But anyway, let me show you some of these cool pieces I found already. And the sun just went away. This is actually some material from Perry, Florida. Got some cool little quartz crystals in there, Druzy crystals. This is also from Perry. If the sun would come back out, this stuff looks super crazy. And the sun. Yeah, there it is. If I can get it to focus. Pretty cool. Uh, let me see here. Got some agatized coral. And some of this stuff I'll polish. Some of these little pieces he don't really care about. I can like to cut and polish up. There's actually some really cool pieces here. With some awesome colors. You can see the coral polyps there in the structure. I actually got some more druzy here. Some little things. See it's not all. I like this stuff. I mean, like I said, I'm not really into the too big, you know, the big time yet. So all this stuff, all the sparkly stuff here, is actually pretty cool to me. Let's see if I can get this a better, better shot of this in the sun here. Nice little druzy. Let's see, it's all covered in dirt. <gasps> pretty cool pieces. But I just take all this stuff home, man. I collect it. Look at that. That is some crazy looking stuff there. Agatized coral. This is just some solid stuff. It's some solid stuff that he has, but I might put a polish on that. And I like looking at the depth. You can actually see it. This this piece here too. When you wet this stuff, 
wet it here with my thumb. You can actually see the depth in the coral. It's really cool looking stuff. It's hard to show here, but those are just some cool pieces that I've picked up here. It's cut to where you can actually see the you can actually see the coral polyps. You see the coral there. But if you polish that, it'll all polish out. And it looks super crazy. But, jeez, it's only like 300 degrees out here today. I found some really cool stuff out here, though. This is a bigger rock that I found out here earlier. But, uh, look at the crystals on it. I have to soak that in acid, but... I mean, it's all covered in dirt. Because I dug it out of that pile. But, man, there is some cool stuff out here. And I walk out. This is like his little pressure washing station here. Where he pressure washes after he cuts. But, uh, see, he's got some really cool stuff in here. But what he does when it pressure washes out here, it goes out here. And I've been digging out here. I go through stuff and find little crystals out here. Look at this. You can see the agate banding on that. That's some pretty cool looking stuff. The banding lines. Oh look at this, here's a little piece of, here's a little piece right here. Some betroidal. That's agatized coral right there. I was just chilling out here. I'm actually probably gonna keep that one. That's a cool looking little piece right there. There's another piece of the agate. Where you can see the banding. Dirt in my mouth. But look at the lines there, the banding. But you never know, man. Sometimes I find crystals out here. There's a piece of amethyst. A piece of amethyst right there. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out here. Like I said, I find quartz out here. Let me see what we got here. There's some more of the agate. Uh, this is all junk, really. Here's a little crystal point. See that there? A little, a little quartz crystal, if I can get it to focus there. Pretty cool. There's something here, some quartz. Here's some quartz. Cool little point. I'm probably gonna keep that. Uh, this is what I'm doing here, just digging here on the pile. Oh, there's a little, there's a little pocket right there, crystals. Pretty cool little piece. I mean, this is all junk, but it's a nice little pocket. Probably give that to somebody. You find you something? Oh, what you got? Dang! Just cut it open. That was out of the crate that you found? Yeah, that one of those crates that I've had over there for years. Dang. That's, That's a cool super design. nice pocket. That's crazy. Yeah, this is a $60 piece. That's wild, dude. <laughs> Look at all these rocks he's got all over. Tons. Crates on top of crates. Hunt me here. See, I'm kind of helping him out here by moving the, the rock pile here. You never know, sometimes you find 
Sometimes you find little druzy pockets. He misses cool ones every now and then. Here's one. Some of the stuff he's just not interested in, but I still like them, so I take them. Pretty cool piece right there. It's more solid. More solid piece that he cut that he didn't feel like it's worth processing. There's actually a little bit of druzy right here in that pocket right there. But that's a pretty cool piece right there. Oh, it's got a little bit of betroidal on there. Some white betroidal. It's pretty cool. I'll keep that. This is my little pile over here that I got going. Oh yeah, this is one that I found earlier. I guess you can't really see the druzy in there too good, but this is a piece that he had cut. But all in there is uh, druzy crystals. Got a little bling action going in there. But you won't be able to see it now because the sun is uh the sun is not cooperating with me. Like I said, I go through this stuff. And I just chuck it out there in the woods. Like I said, sometimes I find stuff here that I can crack open and Sometimes I, I just find rocks. Well, he's in there cutting away. He's in there cutting them rocks. That crystal pocket he just opened up was insane. While I have you here, uh, if you enjoy videos like this, like I said, uh, I don't really normally do videos like this. Uh, hit subscribe subscribe to my channel uh i do plan on hunting some of this agatized coral uh i do plan on hunting some of this stuff for myself so i will be posting videos i hope soon ray just had his knee operated on so uh as soon as that heals he is taking me up there to the river and we are going to be finding some of this stuff Oh, look at that in there. But do me a favor, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. We're really going to have some cool videos coming out soon. I think I'm going to wash that out, actually. That looks that looks like a little pocket there. I don't know if there's any druzy in there. But it might just be betroidal, but... I'm gonna... <laughs> you find you another one? Oh, dang. That's crazy how you cut it with the polyps. Can you polish that at all or no? No. It just looks crazy? Yeah, it's just crazy polyps. That's wild. Look at the other side too. That looks crazy. You can actually see the comb. It looks like honeycomb or something in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of the troidal there. Unusual. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go rinse this thing out real quick because... That looks cool. Looks like something I might hang on to myself. <laughs> Let me clean it up. I'll be right back. I'm going to spray it out with those. Figure maybe I can get this on camera. Just going to take this hose and spray this thing out real quick. Dang, that's pretty cool actually. Look at that. Show inside of there. Look at the inside. Look at all the colors in there. I could get some of that more of that mud and stuff out of there, but I would have to use a toothbrush. But dude, look at the colors in there. That looks crazy. That's what I like right there. <laughs> I like when they're caked with mud. But that is some really let me see if I can spin this thing around. Think. Look in there. That looks crazy. Like so I can get some of that mud out of there, but that is so cool looking. No druzy, I don't see any sparkles or anything, but definitely a wild little piece. Alright, 
Heck yeah. Back to my little page thing. Uh, like I said, that page on Facebook is called Florida Agatized Coral Connection. Uh, that's a page I recently started. I got it all set up, but I, I have pictures of probably about 50 pieces I haven't posted yet, but I will be posting them soon. That's for sure. Uh, none of that stuff actually originated here in the junk pile. Like I said, it's just pieces that, uh, smaller pieces that Ray doesn't want to mess with. And, uh, me and another guy sell some of his stuff for him. So, but you should check that out. Florida Agatized Coral Connection. I will be posting those. Uh, we'll have pieces on there. Some of them actually, uh, some of them are actually cheap. I mean, you, you know, some of them I have are like $2.00. But most of the pieces aren't any more than $30 on there. So if you're looking for some affordable agatized coral, definitely check that out. It's cool little pieces like this that he cuts open. Can't really do much with that. It's got a little bit of druzy in there. But a lot of these little pieces like this, I love them. I'm actually, I've taken so much small stuff. That uh, I actually plan on giving some of it away. Oh, some gorgeous colors! God. I might have to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Beautiful colors. What's he say? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> to Brian Majors, dude, that's crazy looking. Probably another pocket back in here. You cutting that excess off? I was thinking about it. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Yes. I know that's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that one, uh, that one might have to make it to the personal collection. <laughs> Alright, we get back to this pile here. <clears throat> but you never know what you're going to find in here. I mean, he's got stuff in here from Diamond Hill Mine. He's got stuff in here from Arkansas. All kind of crazy rocks. I don't even know what that is. Some crazy, crazy looking rocks in here. But I'm, like I said, I'm kind of doing him a favor. I'm moving his uh, rock pile back here. And at the same time, you know, I'm kind of getting stuff too, so... But there's a lot of neat stuff in here. Some of it's got the little... Man, it looks crazy, actually. Oh, man, I might have to... Oof. Yeah, look at that. That's some crazy agatized coral there. I might have to take that one. I'm, I'm going to take that one. That one looked kind of crazy. Dude, every time I come here, I take so much stuff home. Like, it's crazy. This is my junk pile. I've been throwing this stuff over here, but now that the sun's over here, I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff. There's some crazy colors in here. Look at this stuff. Crazy colors. I don't even know what that is. Oh, here's some of some Jersey in it. Look at that. Little Jersey pocket. A couple little Jersey pockets. Yeah, I might keep that one too. Why not? Why not? Okay, I can't be looking over here. I've already thrown all this over here for a reason. I need to go back over here to the fresh stuff. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to continue to dig. What is this? I might have to spray that off. That looks like some gold betrothal or something in there. 
Maybe I have to bust this piece off. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, I may as well rinse that one off. I'm going to rinse that off right there, and I will get right back. All right, so I rinsed that piece off. That looks pretty cool. That's all betroidal in there. No crystals or anything. No druzy crystals, but a uh, pretty cool piece there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm going to hang on to that. He's got a bunch of stuff out here. This right here is material that he's going through. And that's what he's doing right now. Actually, whenever he, he goes through these pieces. And he finds pieces in here. That have pockets. And stuff. That he goes through and cuts. And then he processes it to where. He can break it down into the smaller pieces. And then, like I said, me and the other guy there. We, uh. We take those pieces, we add a little bit on top, we make a little bit of money, and then we sell it. Like, look at this. Crazy colors right there. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. The reds and the orange. Pretty cool pieces, but that can probably be polished. Like a lot of this stuff is going to be cut and polished. I mean, he's got solid stuff right there. All kinds of stuff but he'll go through and do what he's doing now and cut that stuff and then he gives it to us to sale look at this stuff right here look at these crystals pretty cool little piece right there look at all those crystals <laughs> it got more expensive what did you crystals what that was on the, oh, God. Man, you weren't lying. There was a pocket in there. <laughs> Good Lord. Nice to amber color. It gets cleaned up and dried out. There's a loser stalag tied in there. Oh, my God, dude. That's insane. Ray, you're killing me. See, you shouldn't have cut that open, man. <laughs> I'd give you a couple dollars for that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Now it's going to cost me more. <laughs> good times, man. It's always a good time over here. That's for sure. Uh, even if I don't come over here and do any polishing or anything like that, like it's always, always a good time over here. So it's nice to... I mean, I'm in the woods. You can see here. This is a uh, <laughs> fort of woods. And, uh, you know, sometimes you kiss a horse fly. Yeah, you get a you get some affection from a horse fly or something out here, so it ain't been too bad a day, but let me get back to this pile. I'll get right back. Real quick while I'm thinking about it, I want to show some of this uh hematite stuff. Show you the potential. If it was dry, it would sparkle a whole lot more. Yeah, that stuff it's still it looks good. It looks like almost like more of the colors came out now that it's been raining on it. That stuff is crazy. Look at this. That is wild looking. Get all the colors of the rainbow, man. Another cool one. That's a wild looking one right there. You get in the sunlight. It's crazy looking. I love this stuff actually, and I don't have any of it in my uh, my collection. Um, eventually, I'm sure I'll either go up there and hunt this stuff, or I'll buy a piece from Ray or something. Oh, that's got some bling action there. But look at the colors on that man. But he leaves it out here, and the acidity in the rain actually makes this stuff change colors. 
he's getting in something in there. He is cutting away. He done found another piece that uh he wanted to cut open. Look at that stuff, dude. Pinks, blues, purples, yellow, orange, all kind of crazy colors. That is some wild looking stuff, man. Look at that. And the acidity in the rain brings it out. Good stuff. Alright, I'll get back. Let's see it live. Let's see it live. Dang. This stuff looks crazy. The light's kind of glaring. There it is. That is crazy looking. Nice. Yes. Looks windy today. Yeah, I'd say. God, let me see that one. It's this one. It's this one again that he cut open. This was the top side there, but man, when you, I can't believe. He cut that open. It is insane. Run it. Can't hear myself thinking there. Dude, but look at this. I guess let me get it out of the sun. Maybe I can get a better view on it. Yeah, there we go. You can see all the druzy in there. A little stalactite growing in there. Druzy all in it. The colors are insane. That was just in the base, man. That's just just in the base of that crazy one. I wanted that one, but I don't know, man. I might have to go ahead and throw the money down and get this whole thing now. Wow. I love agatized coral, too, if you haven't, uh, can't tell. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cool little pieces there. Yep. Yeah. Some blue agate in it. That's awesome. I can't wait to see these things cleaned up and scrubbed up. That's pretty, That's gonna be the day, man. Got to keep going. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep jacking the prices up, Ray. <laughs> Stay tuned. You hear these little bugs in the pile? Every time I start digging in some of these holes, they start talking to each other. There's, there's some over here in this pile. And some in this pile, and they're like talking to each other. Pretty cool. I love nature, so anytime I can get out here and do this stuff, and especially... Dig up some cool stuff along the way. Oh, that's cool. A couple little Betroidal pockets there with some cool colors. Let's clean that out. Like I said, man, some of these little pieces, you don't never know, man. If you buy something from me off my page, something like this might end up in your box with it. For the free... Just to give you something cool to, you know, something I can get rid of, give somebody something cool for free, you know.
I've got a ton, dude. I can't even. My wife is so mad about this stuff. Well, she's probably not mad, but she definitely gives me a bunch of crap. <clears throat> I have so much of this stuff that uh, I could definitely afford to give some of it away. It's time to eat. It's time to feed. But, uh, that's cool. A piece right there. I'm probably going to keep that. But, you never know. It'll be like a surprise package. I definitely have tons of this stuff that I've been collecting over the past few months that I've known Ray from here. So, and he always asks me all the time, what are you going to do with all them junk pieces? But, uh, to me, they're not junk. I like the little pieces, but. They're really cool, really cool little pieces. Like I said, even even some stuff, even some stuff like this, man, like the little Druzy, uh, you know, like these. That right there. I mean, you never know. I might give that away. If I can get it to focus. There it is. I might give that to somebody that, you know, buys a, a piece of little $10 coral or something, you know. You never know. You might be the lucky one. But... Depending on what, what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> it depends on what kind you get. But, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be back, man. We're gonna go eat lunch real quick, so... Stay tuned. Dude, some, I'm, I'm, I'm in the part of the... Let me show over right here. Let me back up. I'm in the part now that I'm literally... Like, digging into the ground. <laughs> like, digging into the dirt. There is... These rocks have been here for so many years... That they've literally, like, pushed their way down into the dirt from all the weight I just found this one this is a cool one it's got some nice little agate on it that might look cool polished I gotta clean that up but uh super crazy my pile is getting bigger over here the stuff that I'm taking but uh I'm literally digging down into the ground That thing goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. Solid center to it. I said, well, I'll just open it up on the outside. That's a crazy piece. Let me see if I can zoom on it. Bam. That egg goes all the way around. Yeah. The interior, it's solid. That's wild looking. That's crazy. The only place it touched was right there. A little spot right there. Dang. <laughs> that is, that's a nice piece. Yeah, I, I think it's better this way than it would have been if I'd have cut it in half because you wouldn't have seen most of it. Uh huh. Oh, ding. <laughs> what? Look at that. See, every now and then, this guy, he misses a piece. That is a nice... Look at the crystals on that. It's covered in crystals. That's a sweet piece, dude. That's awesome. The junk pile strikes again. Just found a good one. Oh, yeah. There's another little... Retroidal pocket. Yeah, I don't... You can probably get a couple bucks out of that one. <laughs> You slip, I grip. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little piece. Some Druzy in there. Oh, what's... What will we want? Looks like Betroidal in there. I'll have to pressure wash that out of there and see what that looks like. See, some of the stuff you can't really see because it's got, I mean, it's got 
roots growing through it. <clears throat> Some of it here. But you spray this stuff off. Sometimes it's got good stuff in there. Uh, I'll get back whenever I find something interesting. Stay tuned, man. Dude, I'm dying out here. I think the heat index is like 105 today. And uh, with all the rain we've been having, it sure, uh, sure feels like it. Uh, man, I hope that you guys don't mind, but this video is going to be long. I'm actually kind of wondering if I should split it up into like a two-part video or something. Because, uh... I'm already like 40 minutes of recording or something, so, uh, we'll have to figure it out, but, just adds up, maybe super long, but, that's what she said, stay tuned. <laughs> well, I got you here, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite pieces, a piece that I actually want to buy myself, but, uh, this is somebody's piece that, uh, she actually turned Ray on to hunting the agatized coral. But this is some of her personal stuff that she has here, and uh, I think I'll make an offer on this one, but <laughs> check this piece out. Check this piece out. This thing is cut and polished and insane. It's probably about 15 inches wide, probably about 6 or 8 inches tall, and it is thick, probably about 2 and a half inches thick, but... Look at the agate. Unbelievable. The agate is unreal. Get it out of the light here. Look at that thing, man. And it's got the crystals all up here. All that is crystals all around the whole edge. But look at that. It's just unbelievable. Especially that part, that orange is like insane, dude. And it's cut, polished. Not polished on this side. Yeah, she hasn't polished this side, but it's got the druzy pocket in there. Crazy agate lines all throughout it. It has the colored betroidal here. See any druzy in there, but those colors. Insane. The whole thing is crazy. Oh yeah, there's some more druzy right there too. A little bling action here, but insane. Just an insane piece. I want to say one day I'll own this, but I know she wants some crazy price for it. I don't know. So, Shelly, if you're watching, I know Ray told you about my channel. What's up, man? Let's make a deal on this thing. <laughs> I'm ready. I want to know. I want to know. Anyway. Yeah, this is the cool little station out here, man. He's just got coral on top of coral, like, everywhere. It's unbelievable. These are the little things that he's cutting open right now. I'll show you the, the little crate. He put these in there. And you can see the pockets in there. That stuff is crazy, dude. The colors are insane looking. And he's gonna cut these open. He's actually cutting one right now. They're just cool little pieces. Like I said, some of these are little pieces. Some of these he sells for a couple of dollars. Some of them sell for several hundred dollars. I think he's got one. He's got one big one. It's like 800 bucks. But, uh, super cool stuff. No. You got another one? Oh, Lord. I'll show you live here. Dang. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm here, I say that's crazy like a thousand times. Yeah. That was nice. That was wild looking. Get him polished up. This guy. Lucky day.
Lucky day today. This is a little station here. He's got the acid. You soak him in the oxalic acid. He's got his little station here. Got anything in here? No. Nah, it's empty now. Pretty cool. So this is that piece that I dug up a minute ago. I went in there and kind of gave it a a little scrub, scrub a dub dub, and uh, the crystals wrap all the way around it. But oh, that is a cool little piece, man. Cool little piece. Yes. Yeah, this big crystal right there. Almost looks like it has a little bit of purple in it. Yeah, my guess. A little bit of amethyst in there, maybe. Can't really see it. You can see it better in person, but this is uh, this is one of my areas right here where I put my stuff that I want to work on. Uh, these are one of the rocks that I found out at the rock spot not too long ago. Uh, you know, they got the fossils all in here, the shell material, but. Where I cut it right here, you got the agate, and then you got the druzy. There's druzy all in there. I got that piece. Got this piece, which I got to do a little trimming right there. But you look inside there, man, it looks super crazy. And then the druzy's all in there. But man, when you polish that out, the shell and everything, like this rock is so hard that it looks super crazy. I'll probably soak that in acid to clean that, uh, clean those crystals out in there. Got that one. And then this one, it has a little bit of the druzy pocket in there, but it also has, it tapped into the white betroidal pocket. Actually, there's two of them in there. And I'm going to be polishing both of these sides. There's a fossil shell imprint. Calcified, it looks like. That one. So I got three good slices out of that. And then this one shows more of that betroidal. That was just the end piece there, but it's actually a pretty cool looking little piece. Pretty cool in there. It goes all the way through there but I got this thing that I want to polish I got this fat piece that piece of side doesn't look too good but that looks cool I don't know we'll see what that looks like when I'm done I got this one you can actually see the you can actually see the coral polyps. See the depth, and then it has a little bit of betroidal in there. That'll look cool. Got another one here. That'll look cool whenever I polish it out. I got all kinds of cool stuff over here. The orange and black. This one's gonna look cool. You can see the coral polyps in this one. Kind of hard to get on camera there. Yeah, you can see them there. That'll look cool. I got this one too. This is the other half. That first one I showed, that brown one there. Oh yeah, that one look cool too with the polyps. couple things I got to work on but yeah dude that's awesome Halloween cave all right man what a day I mean to tell you it was so humid out there today from all that rain and it just sits out there in the woods and just whew, it's like sitting in an oven all day but uh 
Found some really cool stuff, man. And uh, those geodes Ray cut, man, they were really awesome. Uh, if you ever want to check out his stuff, um, I'm not sure if he has a website, but he goes, he normally goes to like the big fossil shows and stuff, or the rock gem shows, stuff like that. Um, his thing is called Ray's Rocks and Gems. But a uh, super cool dude. He's got some really nice stuff for sale. I mean, really, really nice stuff. And uh, I've learned a ton from him. So uh, he's definitely a mentor of mine, teaching me the ways, the rock hounds <laughs> ways. But uh, anyway, stay tuned. Um, I know it's going to be a really long video, so, you know, it is what it is. What do you want me to do? But uh, I'll probably do another one tomorrow when I go over there. So I told him to save me some geodes to cut open. But uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Really cool stuff coming out soon. So stay tuned. Peace.